I'll do that on. I like that, man. Hey, <laughs> you're missing the glass. You gotta get the right glasses, and then you you the Star Wars socks. Yeah, yeah. Got lucky. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So, as my first question, I have to ask you something that uh, comes from one of our readers, Michele. He he asks, uh, "This is your first sequel. So, why did you decide to make a sequel uh, for Kingsman as your first venture in the sequel business?" I enjoyed making the first film so much. I fell in love with the cast and I felt there was a story that needed to be continued. And I, you know, there's a third film I have in my head and um, it felt like the right thing to do. And it felt exciting to me. It was intimidating, but exciting. And all the other sequels I was asked to do, I was just like, I've done it. And it felt like a sequel. I think lots of sequels of people making it to make more money. You know, it's a Hollywood thing. Oh, that's a success. Let's do another one. We'll do another one. Oh, we've killed the franchise. Um, this was a, a film I genuinely wanted to make. I had, and I was, I was, you know, I always ask the question myself, would I do this film for free? And the answer is yes, I would. Then I go to work. So I want to know everything about the, the opening scene and the final showdown from, from a technical standpoint. I mean, uh, how did you manage to shoot uh, a sequence like the opening one in London, which at, at 3 a.m. you have the same uh, level of traffic that you have in, in another uh, city at uh, 12 a.m.? Mm -hmm. I have an answer PM, which you so. won't like, but do you like sausages? <laughs> you do? Yeah. Do you know how they make sausages? Not at all, but I know. <laughs> If you knew how they made them, you'd probably stop eating them. So I don't want to ruin the <laughs> filmmaking experience for you. There's certain sleight of hands that if I told you, it wouldn't be worth it. Mm. But it was but bloody difficult. Yeah. It was very hard work and we had a lot of challenges to overcome. But I'm happy with it. And it was more difficult, the church, the church scene of the first one or the final showdown of this one? Um, it's, it's only they're one about take, the same. They're yeah. about the the um, mm, the church sequence was harder because there was a hundred people. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so there was a lot. So when you have three people, yes. it's a lot easier. But it was all hard. By the way, it's like saying what's you know, it's a, it was all very hard. And uh, have you cut a lot of scenes because uh, I don't know nearly yeah. an hour. Uh, are we going to see them on the Blu-ray? Are we planning? A Maybe I've version? never ever released yeah, yeah. cut scenes before, but I might do another cut. I had a cut which I loved, but it's about 45 minutes longer, and um, but it felt too indulgent. But uh, maybe I'm not going to say no to that. It could happen. It could. Happen. They were really. Good. It was. It's the first time in my life I was like wincing when I cut these scenes out because I was like, oh, this is a really good scene, <laughs> and then I was like, shit, it's on the floor. So. And that's my last question. Uh, tell me about the moment you told Colin you're still alive. Um, we were both very happy. You know, I was like, um, I just said, I, don't, I can't make this movie without you. I, you know, this, you are the Kingsman. You know, I, I've been saying this before that I felt like I'm George Martin and the Kingsman is the Beatles and McCartney left. And I was like, how do you make the second album work without McCartney? So I was like, please, Colin, come back. We're going to figure it out and we're going to have fun again. That's the great part of movies. Yeah. Death is never for certain. Yes. Thank you exactly. very much. Have cool. a nice day.